This is a quick video over Excel macros, and up to about a month ago, I didn't really know what Excel could do. I found out Excel can actually do a lot of neat things. For instance, if you wanted to request two liters from a tank and you wanted to show an animation for that, it, it can actually show an animation of tank A emptying and tank A B filling up. Or we can request four liters when it only has three liters, and it can pop up, or it can pop up a window that tells us tank B is too low for our request. So we'd have to adjust it for our request. So I wanted to make a very short, small program so other people can see who don't really have any experience with macros and see how Excel, or how I had Excel do this. There are probably a lot better ways of doing this. And we can even have Excel mix it and show that it has been mixed and even empty it. And notice like pump A, B turns on and it turns off when it's done. So how did I do that? Well, I went to the developer tab and you need to make sure you have the full version of Microsoft Excel. You need to go to Excel options and have this clicked, Show Developer tab in Ribbon. So make sure you have that clicked, and then click OK, and then you can go to Developer tab and go to Visual Basics. And if you were to download this file, you would see all this code. And this is all on Sheet 1, but to make it simpler and a little bit more organized, I even broke up some of the code onto different modules. And all a module is, is just a separate location where you have another subroutine. So a subroutine is like a function. So for instance, this is the subroutine needed to turn this pump on and off, and to have it say on and off, and to change to red and green. And this is the subroutine needed for t uh, pump 2 to turn on and off. And then of course we have some of the other code right here for tank AB the code needed to have tank AB empty. So this is the code needed to have it tank AB empty and then of course tank AB mixing. So this is just a very simple pro program but I think if you're trying to learn how Excel works it might be somewhat helpful to you.